Hey, what's up? This is a quick video on things I like about Monster Hunter World. I'm sure there's more, but this is just what I have written down so far. So I may or may not do a second video. Okay. Instant gathering. Pretty nice. New attacks for each weapon. Obviously, uh, pretty awesome. New monsters. So, I wrote that there, even though some of the monsters really suck. Like, uh, Toby Kodachi and Zitsi Ka or whatever. <laughs> However the fuck you say the raptor dude that flashes light. So some of the monsters are bad, but new monsters, anyway, are always a good thing. So this is a big one, the equipment box and item box in the quest. That's huge. And then uh, just having the equipment outside of your room for once, so you can change equipment after you choose a quest, you know, unlike the old games. Uh, feline chef in the quest, obviously, that's nice. I think it might be kind of OP. For when you die and you're able to talk to the chef again, but whatever. Uh, multiple camps per map. So I really like that. And then also I, I put the however bigger map so equals out. Just because if they would have had one map or one camp for the size of these giant maps, it would have been really weird. But that's obviously really cool. Um, graphics, obviously. I put frame rate lag though sometimes, but the graphics are still amazing. Uh, join other people's quest mid quest. That's a gigantic one uh, And then the keyboard and voice chat in quest Like Monster Hunter try had it, but then they got rid of it in uh, four ultimate and Three ultimate or yeah, even three ultimate. I don't think had keyboard in quest. I don't remember and then uh, Generations they didn't have the keyboard in the quest so item changes I was talking about like no pickaxes, uh, infinite whetstones, you know, the bug nets, the fishing, all the, those changes are really nice. And then new items, like the mantles and the little things that you put down, like the healing pod or whatever the fuck, and then the slingers, etc., whatever. Tracking monsters. So I thought this was a really good one because in the old game, sometimes you would just be walking around in circles looking for the monster and you couldn't find him because there's no traces i guess there's no tracks so you don't know if a monster has been here and just flew away as soon as you you know walked away or whatever as soon as you walked in they might have just flown away you know and then i put without psycho serum or paintball yeah so tracking monsters is really big this is a small one veggie elder tells random statistic uh and then this is a, actually a pretty big one useful feline companion so in the old games most people once they, you know, kind of got comfortable with the game, they wouldn't even use their feline companion because it's so annoying just to have. And even in this game, I mean, I'm not saying they're amazing, but they're way better than they used to be. And like I said, I'm sure there's more, so I may or may not make a second video.